At the ongoing Defence Expo 2020, UK's Minister for Defence Procurement James Heapy has said that the United Kingdom is ready to collaborate on fighter jet engine development programme with India, and has offered a government-to-government -government model to take the project forward. Interestingly, this offer comes days after the leading French engine manufacturer Safran had offered full technology transfer for fighter jet engines to India, and has even initiated discussions on the matter. Making a strong pitch for the F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jets for the Indian Navy, Boeing has said that the fighter jet will soon be tested on a ski jump, to demonstrate its ability to operate from Indian platforms. The Super Hornet is competing with the French Rafale M, and the French industry has pitched that the fighter jet can be easily integrated on board the aircraft carrier INS Vicrant. The Aeronautical Development Agency has revealed that it will start work on a new indigenous long-range subsonic cruise system, and the sanction for the project is expected in two months, and the first test could begin in early 2023. It will have a range of more than 1,000 kilometers, and will be launched from a universal vertical launcher module of the BrahMos system. The RDO has revealed that the agency is working on a subsonic anti-ship system for naval helicopters, which will have a range of 55 kilometers. The Indian Navy has a requirement of over 1,000 anti-ship systems worth over $1 billion. The Indian Army is set to induct the 155mm upgraded Sharang artillery system into service today, which are being upgraded under a 200 crore rupees contract by the Ordnance Factory Board. The upgrade has resulted in an increase of its strike range from 27 km to 39 km. As per latest media reports, the LNT production line for the K-9 Vajra artillery systems may run dry within the next six months, forcing a possible mothballing of the facility. LNT will complete the entire order for 100 systems within the next six months, and the company has made requests to the Defence Ministry for additional orders. An official representative of the Federal Service for Russian Military Technical Cooperation has said that contracts are under negotiation to supply India with Russian-made Igla S-Man portable air defense systems, and to organize its licensed production in India, and the relevant contracts are expected to be signed by the end of this year. British firm James Fisher Defence has supplied two sets of life-saving equipment to the Indian Navy under a £1 million contract. The Indian Navy has received the DMAS Hypersat and Hyperbaric ventilators, that provide patient monitoring to the Indian Navy's advanced submarine rescue system. Hindustan Shipyard has completed the refit work on a diesel-electric submarine four days ahead of schedule, which included extensive repairs upgrade system integration and system trials. The shipyard had also recently completed the refit of another submarine 14 days ahead of schedule. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a memorandum of understanding with Israel's Elbit Systems during the ongoing Defence Expo 2020, which will allow extended cooperation for new technologies and promote such systems to the Indian military and other potential customers.